family. Welcome to our first edition that we're calling Wake Up With Hope. Uh, here's what we want to do at this time as the sun is coming up behind me, as I hear some of you already going to work, we just want to provide a daily Monday through Friday, call it a devotional, call it a point of hope, an encouragement for you to start your day, a point of focus that will be hopeful for you. Because right now with all the alarming things that we constantly hear, not just from the media, there's alarming things that are even coming from the church. Uh, it's been on my heart to say, what can we listen to? What can we hear? What can we go to in God's word that's gonna draw us back to Jesus? We've been doing this on Sunday mornings uh, in our series we're calling Satisfied. We also wanna do it every morning, Monday through Friday, to draw our attention back to Jesus. So my thoughts were drawn today to John chapter six to a story where Jesus just got done feeding the 5,000. And after he got done, the people, they were following him, but they are looking at him, for him to do more physical miracles. And Jesus says this, I tell you the truth, you want to be with me because I fed you, not because you understood the miraculous signs. So don't be concerned about perishable things like food. Spend your energy seeking the eternal life that the Son of Man can give you. So Jesus is saying, uh, it's not just about the physical things. And I think we need to hear that. It's not just the physical things, the physical changes that we want Jesus to bring to our life. And he does, and he will do that stuff, but he's doing that to point us to something greater so that we can understand more of who he is and his care for us. So they ask him, they say, we want to perform God's works too. In other words, we want to be part of these great miraculous signs. What should we do? And I love Jesus' answer. This is the only work, the only work that God wants from you. Believe in the one that he has sent. That is what we want to do during these mornings of Wake Up With Hope. We want to draw your focus back. Even if God is doing some great miracles in your life during this time, we want to draw your focus back to Jesus. To be the one that you are setting your hope on every morning. That is how we should start out our focus. So let me pray. God, I, I just would pray for our church family and all the noise that we're hearing from uh, media, but even from within the church right now. I pray, God, that we could bring our attention and our focus back to you, Jesus. Help us to learn more and hear from you. But I ask, I ask, I ask and I pray that we could live that out, that we could be you for our community to see during this season. Amen.